Advanced Warfare was the first jetpack Call of Duty introduced by Sledgehammer Games in 2014. And according to credible leakers via Twitter, Sledgehammer Games will be moving away from the World War titles to focus on the Advanced Warfare aspect of Call of Duty, with Advanced Warfare 2 being their next installment in 2025. As of right now, this is only a rumor and there's no concrete evidence that suggests it's true. Treyarch's 2024 title hasn't even been announced and Modern Warfare 2 isn't even out yet. So this is pretty premature news. However, this particular leaker is credible and known to be right a lot of the time. Regardless, I thought it was a good time to revisit Advanced Warfare and see if it still holds up after all these years. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new. And let's check out Advanced Warfare. I, mean, I feel like Advanced Warfare was so far ahead of its time, man. If it came out like today, I feel like it would do so much better. The maps were so dope. Oh my God, I've been playing Halo, so my aim's gonna be all messed up. What did I spawn into? I mean, look at this map, bro. Look at that. We're not going to talk about that at all, guys. <laughs> okay, he's just better than me. Advanced Warfare was so good, man. I don't care what anybody says. Dear God, I'm bad. Is this guy cheating? Oh, no, he's just a god. Has not stopped playing the game since 2014. Go. That's two. I might edit that out, to be real. I can't even put that in the video. Yeah, I feel like Advanced Warfare was just ahead of its time, man. It was the first Jetpack COD. It was the first time they ever really did anything like that that wasn't boots on the ground. People were very, very skeptical of it. But then, like, BO3 came out, and it was kind of like the re refined version of Jetpacks. Go. Let's go. UAV. Okay, I don't, I, I don't deserve it. I, I don't deserve the, the kill. This was really, honestly, kind of the first Call of Duty that ever had a real skill gap. You know what I mean? It was no longer boots on the ground. It was like jetpacks, a huge skill gap. You actually had to like kind of be good at the game to have fun. It was a learning curve. It wasn't just point and shoot, you know? And I think people kind of had a hard time adjusting to that. I personally put a lot of hours on this game on my Xbox. I remember, bro. It was before I was ever really like super into gaming like that. I just liked Call of Duty. And I remember it being so much fun, man. And honestly, the last thing I expected Sledgehammer to do next with Call of Duty is bring back jetpacks. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you know I love jetpacks. It's like some of my favorite Call of Duties. I just, with the direction that Activision has taken the franchise, trying to more cater to the casual side of the player base, I never thought they would bring something like jetpacks back that created such a large skill gap. And that's not to say I'm complaining. I, I think this is a great thing. At the end of the day, this really could just be some rumor, and it's not even true. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but if they were to bring Advanced Warfare 2, I think that would be amazing. You know, kind of let Infinity Ward cater to the casual audience, make it more realistic, modern, all that stuff. Let Treyarch do their thing, maybe a little bit in the past or even a little bit into the future. Let them put all their crazy, wacky skins and weapon camos and all that. We all love Treyarch for that. And then just let Sledgehammer do the jetpack thing. Let them handle futuristic stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, Advanced Warfare was the last really, really good thing they gave us. They did World War II, and even though that game got better, World War II definitely got better over its life cycle, but like, it wasn't great, even after the changes. And Vanguard, what a great idea that was. Ooh. Hello Ooh. there. <gasps> oh, I do think I preferred BO3's movement a little more. Like their jetpack movement felt a lot smoother. But Advanced Warfare was great too, man. I think it was a great start to jetpacks. I don't even know what's happening. What is going on? I like how the maps in this game had like active environments. Like you had the tsunami map where it'd be like a big tsunami in the middle of the match. This one, it's like a missile's going off and the whole map starts shaking. I think that's really, really cool. Makes it very immersive. Oh my God, I'm gonna die here. 
Oh my god. What am I shooting? It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Honestly, part of me kind of hopes that they leave this if Advanced Warfare 2 really is a thing and that's what they do. Part of me kind of hopes they just leave it as its own thing and has nothing to do with Warzone. Let Warzone be its own thing on the Modern Warfare 2 engine. Just leave it be. Don't try to merge every Call of Duty into a Battle Royale. Just leave it be its own thing, man. I feel like when this game first came out, it was just so far ahead of its time. People weren't really as interested back then in being good at games they just wanted to play but now i feel like people would enjoy the skill gap oh that guy's a dude he's a demon he's a demon look at no no way oh dude no nah, he's he's him speak easy was so nice man Go. Little double. It's like the best I can do, honestly. This FOV is actually making me nauseous right now. Oh my God, I'm about to puke. Oh God, I gotta, I gotta take a break. I gotta take a break. A few moments later. Oh my god. Oh my god, absolutely fraud. Hey, the K5, I forgot how good this gun was. Oh my god. Friendly UAV above. Free? Freebie? Yeah, kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> Dude, no. I forgot you can't overheat it. It's fine. A lot of people's biggest issue with Advanced Warfare were the supply drops because everybody thought it was pay to win. And it most definitely was pay to win. <laughs> the supply drops were so broken, man. Like the guns that you got from paying for them, they were like completely, totally head and shoulders better than like the core guns. I think that's where this game really went wrong for the most part. Pay to win is never a good idea. And if they do come out with Advanced Warfare 2, I am like almost positive they have learned that by now. You don't see too much pay to win stuff in gaming anymore because I mean, pay to win methods always kill games. Games. You see it happen time and time again. It was a really big deal back like around the time Advanced Warfare came out. Developers were really into the pay to win aspect and it didn't work out for them. Oh my God, what did I just do? I suck. What do you mean by that? No! Oh, oh. I know I probably shouldn't do this, but like, I wanna buy one of these supply drops. I'm only gonna buy one, okay? I'm only going to buy one. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Elite. Dude, I just wasted $2. Oh my god. Get out of my way. So yeah, 
That was uh, Advanced Warfare. Drop a like if you would like to see Advanced Warfare 2 in 2025. Appreciate you guys for watching the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you in the next one. I love you.